Can you talk a little bit about what it took for you to be able to be ready to play this week and, and what you thought about how you felt out there physically as the game went on? No, it, it just took a lot of trusting and everything that, you know, just my rehab and just uh, make sure my body was good, you know, just protecting myself, you know, just um, a lot of encouragement from my teammates as well. So it was just a lot of both of those things, those were real big factors. With all the turmoil that happened to the line, Koi Crunk going down, there's some talk about the line, but you ended up uh, 20 consecutive passes, setting a record. You got into a great rhythm. What led to that? Right. Yeah. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't get the win, but you know, it's just Matt Bedford. You know, he had to step up. A true freshman. You know, he did real good. And the offensive line, they helped him. You know, they all communicated with each other. The coach just put us in the right situation to make sure we we're all in the right right spots at the right time and knew what we were doing. What allowed you to find that rhythm again, 20 in a row in particular? Right? Like I said, just coach putting us in the right situation. You know, play calls. You know, and just the receivers getting open and just catch and throw. That's all we preach, just catch and throw. We're out there, you know, just playing our hearts out, you know, just protecting each other, making sure we're all on the same page. Uh, Coach Allen said you didn't practice every day this week, and obviously um, you hadn't played two games. So, I mean, how did you get yourself prepared to be able to come out and play the way you did? I mean, I, yeah, I didn't practice every day, but, you know, pregame, you know, I, I felt pretty good. So, uh, Coach Coach made the decision to, to let me play. And um, just I prepared just – Keeping my head in the game, you know, just making sure I knew all the plays, knew all the reads. You know, all the times I was in practice, you know, I, I was mentally prepared and making sure I was always on top of the game. Mike, you did get hit a few times today. How the how the shoulder and everything feel from getting hit out there and being able to bounce back from it? Uh, it well, I got hit, but you no, know, everything felt great. You know, I mean, I needed sometimes, but you know, it wasn't it wasn't uh, anything major. You know, offensive line held up a lot. You know, it made great a lot of great plays and. We executed a lot of things, but we didn't come out with a win. That's what you, well, that's what we really wanted to do. No, you wanted the win, but what did you what did you guys show to a lot of people when you play a team like that at, on the road and come that close? Uh, we definitely show that. Like, just don't doubt us. You know, we're, we're pushing every single day, making sure um, everybody knows knows everything they're doing. Just executing as a team. You know, we never let ourselves get down. We always make sure we keep each other up and just make sure that we stay positive throughout the whole process. It sounds like it sounds like. You it sounds like you've been a lot. You've been through a lot of rehab in the last few weeks, but to come out and have the performance that you did, uh, does that kind of make you feel better about what you've gone through in, in the last few weeks? Yeah, it felt great. But like I said, you know, it was the team. The team uh, helped me. You know, they encouraged me, make sure that everything was okay with me. They pushed me to uh, be better. You know, they was always like all right, right by my side um, the whole the whole uh, way. So I appreciate them for that. You know, we came out and played our hearts out, but you know, we fell short. You talked about making sure doing things to get you yourself ready physically. Is it stretching? Is it maybe a little bit of extra work during warm-ups for you to just make sure that everything feels right after especially the three-week layoff? Right, yes. Yeah. So just just a lot of um, making sure my body's right, getting in the training room, you know, just, just um, stretching like you said, you know, just uh, loosening up, make sure that I'm ready to go out and play. You're one of, my, you're, you're one of a, uh, a, a large group of younger players on, on this team. What do you think that you and, you know, Taiwan and Matt Bedford, guys you talked about, are making this program kind of take steps in the right direction. You know, um, like I said, we all work hard. You know, um, Matt and Taiwan, they work extremely hard. You know, Matt had to uh, step up big time. You know, um, first, this is his first game, you know, starting, and he actually did real good. He held up. And Taiwan, you know, in practice every single day, he shows it. Like, he's a dog. You know, he works every single day, pushes hard, um, helps the defense a lot, you know, and it's real good to see. Do you feel like you're 100% right now, or is there still some work to do to get yourself 100%? No, no I'm definitely 100%. I'll be ready to play. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah.